Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm carrying on my series of the uh, rainforest creation thing. And in my last two parts, I taught you how to create uh, these shrubs here, these nice variations and all that stuff, because uh, they're quite uh, a big part of the scene. They're just well, you know, they're pl they're, they're plants. And today we're going to be making more plants, but it's going to be a bit more complicated than just you know using the sapling tool again. Uh, so let's just get straight into it then. So what we're going to do in this part is add ferns. Now, if you don't know what a fern is, it's like those weird. In fact, if I load up my image again, my render this one. Okay, it's uh, this one. This one right in the front here. It's like this sort of, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but you know, it's, if you've ever played Far Cry, it's one of those plants. Okay, so let's just uh, get rid of that, okay? So to make a, a fern, it, you know, if you, if you know how to do it, then it's really simple. It's not like something you can master or anything, because it's just quite simple. We're going to add a plane like that okay so this is like making the top of a palm tree okay so okay in edit mode we're just gonna press G Y and then hold control and then move it up like that then press S X hold control and make it nice and thin like that and then also if we select the end vertices here and bring them back like that okay then if we add an array modifier like this and then get rid of the relative offset uh, on that x-axis and then bring it to the y-axis by one you can now see that we can make it longer just by increasing this value here okay so now we're gonna add another plane and scale it down like this and maybe actually if I select these vertices and bring them in further maybe to about there and then select these bring them in like that then hmm. okay now what I'm going to do actually is make this very small like that and also if I just select these two I'm also going to make it quite thin and then you can see now how this might be working we're going to extend this out like that and maybe also if I just put a loop cut right in the middle here so you can press control R click and then just right click it just goes back into the center we then delete these vertices and add a mirror modifier maybe put that on top of the array that might help you can now see how that's working although I've still got things on the wrong side so just, just yep uh, turn on uh, clipping on the mirror then oh hang on, that's a bad idea yep just bring them out like that then turn on clipping then move it back in okay now uh, what we're going to do is just increase the array count up to something like 20 and that way we have yeah, a sort of shape like that now if we just add a few loop cuts over at the end here or in these uh, sort of the uh, leaves I suppose is what they are uh, if we now select the end vertices and then press O to turn on proportional editing and just scale them in on the Y axis like that and then just increase our brush size a bit and also in fact yeah that's good enough also we select the middle one and move that up again increasing our brush size a bit and just bring that up a bit like that We you can sort of see how this is now working and the, uh, with these vertices in the middle, without proportional editing, I'm going to move them up as well to sort of create a, uh, I don't know what it's called, but uh, that sort of thing there. Now we can turn on smooth shading, and things are looking good. Yep, that's fine. Now to create that uh, sort of curve to everything, and the... Uh, uh, the bit where it's sort of wider and then thinner as it gets near the end and all that stuff. To do that, we're going to add a path curve. So go to curve, path, 
and just rotate it by 90 degrees and then also just press Control y and sort of get that to so uh, G, Y and then hold control we can get it in position. One of the things I hate about path curves is that because they're 2D you have to sort of when you the little axis line sort of overwrites them or covers them up or whatever. Okay, and now in edit mode Yeah in edit mode is a bit easier. Oh also rotate it by one hundred and eighty degrees. We want these arrows to go up the fern rather than down it. I don't know if that actually affects anything but I'm just a bit paranoid about curves because I've had so many mistakes with them before. Okay, so now uh, what we can do is select the fern then shift and right click on the curve and press control P and then curve deform. Okay, and now if we just move the fern up like that so that the curve is all, you know, got all of the fern in it what we can now do is if we select the end and press Alt S, we can now make the fern get thinner as we get to the tip. So that's just a nice effect. And we can play around with this, make it as fat or as thin as you like. And so why is it when I select the end bit it all just shrinks in, I don't know why. Okay. And this try again. What is happening with that? Hmm. Maybe it's just because it's not in it correctly. What the heck? Right, um, yeah, this is confusing me. I'm just gonna extrude this back like that, and then with this, there we go. Now, when I do that, it goes in nicely. I'm just gonna make it a bit wider here, and a bit wider here. And it's really about what sort of fern you want to make. I mean, all ferns look different, so. You don't have to worry too much about it. Um, yeah, we just uh, now, as you can see, I'm just giving it a bit of curvature to it. So there we go. And now I'm just going to try and make that smaller again. Yeah, what is happening with it? I don't get it. Okay. So and uh, yeah, if you just make that a bit thinner there. Okay, we're getting somewhere with this, although we're getting somewhat slowly. Okay, we we'll leave that there. Um, Alright, so we've got one uh, fern leaf, I suppose, or whatever on earth you'd call it. One branch with its leaves on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is... Um, I was going to say apply the curve, but I don't think that's the best idea. Let's just duplicate the fern and its curve like that. And then just make a sort of variation, so like a more sort of lower one like that as in lower branch so this all goes underneath that and then maybe let's make this one so that it's quite a high fern so it goes quite high up like that because that's what sort of ferns do they're not there's all in these separate layers of height in some cases so yeah something like that and then mm, let's also make another one that sort of fits somewhere in the middle okay so yeah just raise that up and that up like that and then yeah there we go and now if we apply our curve oh no that looks horrible if we apply our mirror our array and our curve like that and then do the same with this and this we can now get rid of these curves and all our ferns are sort of going to get up over here now we need to adjust where our origin point is because as you can see it's over here and that's no good at all so if we just select our ferns like that and then go and select this bit at the bottom and press shift s cursor to selected then press go to object transform origin to 3d cursor and then the same here cursor to selected and then transform origin to 3D cursor and again here cursor to selected origin to 3D cursor okay so now that we've done that uh, if we now just press alt G for all of them they should sort of be in a similar position what we can do now is add 
another array modifier to these. Uh, let's just hide these right here. We, uh, in fact, now let's go to the center and add an empty. So add uh, empty like that, and then add another array for this, and get rid of the relative offset. Offset. So just uncheck that and choose object offset, and then choose empty. Now, when we rotate our empty, a new fern thing comes out. So we now just increase the count, and you can now see we're getting this nice, uh, this nice fern. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. Uh, now, if we unhide our other objects like that, and add another empty. So yeah, let's just. Uh, Call this empty one, and that way we can keep track of these things. Um, hide that, and then add another empty, empty two. Uh, we can now select the other, the second lower one, like that, and add in another array that's uh, on empty two, like that. Now, when we rotate our empty, you can see you're getting that. Now, we're going to make this a much wider empty, uh, so much more wider gaps, because there's not going to be as many, so if we just now increase these values here, yeah, uh, or the count value, whatever you want to call it, and then just adjust the rotation like that, yeah, you can see how that's working, and now for the final ones, in fact, should we even bother with this one? Uh, no, let's actually get rid of that, that's stupid. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can apply these arrays and delete these empties like so, and then just join up these like that. Okay. Now it's get, it looks a bit funny in the middle, but that's actually fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. So now we've got a complete fern like that. Now when we add uh, a new material, we can call this fern leaf or whatever. In fact, no, just fern because we're not going to add any other um, ferns. Uh, we're going to add other ferns, but there's not going to be any more materials to it. In fact, should we? No, no let's, let's not do that. Okay, so let's add you know, it's will make it a bit green, a bit darker maybe, because we're actually going to use this material here. Uh, so the specularity to 250 and that will do I mean, there's not really much else you can do with a fern, but um, yeah, there we go. So now if we just scale this down and then press Control A and then apply the scale like that, there we go. And then duplicate this over here. And now to create a variation, just you know, you can delete you know whole bits of the fern. So if we press Control L. Oh right, I see. Yeah, of course. We must have done something a bit wrong or something because uh, they seem to have not have merged very well at all okay so now press control L delete that lot and then whoa yeah let's not bother deleting any more leaves let's just you know do what we can do which appears to be not that much because we didn't do this well I didn't do this correctly if you did then well done you saw where I went wrong uh, okay so let's just get rid of all of these and I think that's the last bit yeah okay we might be lucky a couple of vertices down there but that's fine and now that we've done that uh, oh god right yeah with our brush tool just go over this fern here and then try and get it right so let's see let's just select all this stuff right okay let's see um right control l and then yeah oh yeah if you press control l you select all the geometry in a particular place uh, so uh, all the connected geometry and that's where i went wrong so just select that and this stuff right here just delete that and then there we go we've deleted that now 
Wait, no, we weren't supposed to delete that. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, let's just stick with uh, this new variation here. It's not much at all, is it? It's horrible. But, you know, we've got a variation. I don't really want to go through that process anymore. I have ruined it. So, yeah, okay, let's just leave it at that. So now we have ferns in our little plant collection. So if we just move it in and sort of scale it to be uh, relative to these shrubs. Ferns are actually kind of big so well yeah we can also have a, uh, different sizes maybe if we just increase on the C axis like that we can have that variation. So now if we apply the scale and then see what it looks like rendered we can then finish this tutorial. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's, I think it needs to be a bit more green and a bit more darker in, in the ferns, that is. So, just make it a bit darker and a bit more of a saturated green colour like that. Maybe make it sort of edge towards yellow. And have another go. Okay, so, we can adjust it a bit more later, um, you know, because we're going to adjust everything a bit later to finish things off a bit but um, you know things are looking okay in terms of you know the plants and in the next part we will get on to more plants so this has been quite a big part of the tutorial uh, we've now got uh, shrubs and ferns so I need to name these only so fern 1 and fern 2 there we go uh, so thanks for watching uh, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, visit my channel, all that stuff, and carry on watching in part, uh, part three, four, what are we on? I've already lost count, that's pathetic. Anyway, thanks for watching, and goodbye.